On the 7th of June 1951, a horrific war criminal, who was responsible for the slaughter of thousands of people, made his way to the gallows inside of an American-occupied prison. He was led up the steps of the execution structure and was shockingly photographed, smiling before he met his fate as the executioner wrapped the noose around his neck. Werner Brauner was a German SS beast who was responsible for commanding the Einsatzgruppe, the paramilitary death squads that during the Second World War would follow the advances of the German army. His actions resulted in the deaths of thousands and he tried to claim that he was just following the orders of his superiors but this was rejected and it did not spare him from the gallows. Join us today as we look at the ruthless execution of Werner Brauner, the evil Einsatzgruppe commander. As always, to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Werner Brauner was born on the 11th of April 1909 inside of Meerstedt, and he had a rather normal early life, attending school, and he then studied at different universities, studying law and the theory of law. But in the 1930s, he was lured into the politics of the Nazi party, like many people in Germany were, and he joined the Nazi party at the age of 22, when he was still a student. But people like Werner Brauner, who had a knowledge of law and politics, were seen of use by the Nazis, and in November 1931, he joined the SA, the Stormtroopers, or the Brown Shirts, as they were known. The SA were at this time seen as the bodyguards of Hitler, and they were also the strongest power in the early 1930s, until they were purged with the SS being the ones who carried out this attack on Adolf Hitler's orders. Werner Brauner joined the SS in November 1934, and he also worked for the security service known as the SD. Further work inside of police organisations such as the Gestapo continued for Brauner, and he even became the Gestapo leader for the city of Munster. In this work, he would be responsible for rounding up resistors and rounding up those who were dissenting to the Nazi regime and Hitler's policies. The Gestapo would brutally torture and deport people to concentration camps too, and this would have been the daily work of Brauner. He was then transferred to become a Gestapo chief in more cities, but as the Second World War broke out, he became appointed as a commander of a horrific set of executioners known as the Einsatzgruppe. The Einsatzgruppe were a collection of SS executioners who would follow the advances of the Wehrmacht and the German army. They would round up people and civilians inside of villages and settlements, sort through these people and then order huge numbers to go to the outskirts of the settlement. They would then be ordered to dig huge pits which would become their graves. The people were led into these pits in small groups where executioners armed with rifles on the edge of the pit would fire into them instantly killing or seriously injuring. Then executioners would patrol the pit, offering further gunshots. Hundreds of thousands were slaughtered in this way, and Werner Brauner was one of those people who was commanding large numbers of the execution squads. Brauner specifically commanded Special Detachment 11B, which was part of Einsatzgruppe D. He organised and conducted the slaughter of Jews, Soviet commissars and others in the area known as Army Group South Rear Area, in this region. It was a systematic slaughter of huge numbers of people, and his brother would even be a commander inside of the death squads too. Specifically, under the command of Werner Brauner, Special Detachment 11B carried out a huge massacre in which in the Crimea, over the course of three days, his soldiers slaughtered and murdered 14,500 Jews. They slaughtered all day and all night, and Brauner in September 1942 following being responsible for the deaths of thousands, returned to Halle and he received a number of different promotions within the SS. He would finish the Second World War as the leader of the German Foreign Service Academy and he was then dispatched to Norway to serve as a commander of the security police and the SD in the occupied land. But there were many different war criminals who at the end of the Second World War tried to escape and evade any form of justice and some lived under false papers and names to avoid detection and arrest. It's likely that Brauner would have been advised to do this by Heinrich Himmler, 
who offered this advice to many different adjutants and SS friends and colleagues. But Browner was arrested at the end of the Second World War and his legitimate identity was then discovered. He was then brought before what became known as the Einsatzgruppe trial, a series of proceedings against 22 former SS leaders who as commanders of the death squads took the responsibility for the crimes of those executioners. The indictments included the reports of over one million victims and the court said in its judgment that in this case the defendants are not simply accused of planning or directing wholesale killings through channels. They are not charged with sitting in an office hundreds and thousands of miles away from the slaughter. It is asserted with particularity that these men were in the field actively superintending, controlling, directing and taking active part in the bloody harvest. Werner Browner, in front of the court, claimed that he was not responsible for the killings and he said he was only acting upon the orders given to him by his SS superiors and those such as Heinrich Himmler. It was said of him that, in October 1941, he was assigned to Einsatzkommando 11B. As chief of this unit, Browner knew of the Führer order and executed it to a hilt. His defence is a general one of superior orders, which avails Browner no more than it does anyone else who executes a criminal order with the zeal that Browner brought to the Führer order. Various reports implicate Browner and his commando in the sordid business of illegal killing. The tribunal has already spoken of the Christmas massacre as Simferopol. Browner was the leader in charge of this operation. He has admitted responsibility for this murder in unequivocal language. On the 10th of April 1948, Browner was sentenced to death and he was sent to Landsberg prison to await his death sentence. He was on death row for over three years inside of the same prison that Adolf Hitler had earlier been incarcerated within. But on the 7th of June 1951, Browner was told it was his time to die and he was led from his prison cell to Warsaw Courtyard, where a large gallows could be found. He was accompanied by a priest and many military policemen that led him up to the gallows and then up the stairs. His arms and legs had been secured, but then he was handed over to the executioner. The executioner performed some final checks before placing the noose and black cap over his head, and Browner earlier had uttered his final words as he left his prison cell, and he was shouting, Comrades, long live Germany. Following the final checks, he was then moved over the trap door, and was then released through the trap, and the rope went taut, and he was executed. Werner Browner was a brutal and ruthless executioner, who had a long career inside of the SS. He was a man who would oversee the death squads, who performed the slaughter of thousands inside of German-occupied lands. He was one of a number of Einsatzgruppe commandos, who were led up to the gallows that day, and he was a man who expressed little remorse for his crimes. At the age of 42 inside of Landsberg Prison, the cruelty of Werner Browner came to an end. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.